Malachi. The whole book is very powerful. Now, if we go to, well, chapter one, verse six, a son steams his father and a servant his master. And if I am the father, where is my steam? And if I am the master, the sovereign, where is my fear? Said Yahweh of hosts, to you priests who despise my name. But you ask, in what way have we despised your name? Right? So they themselves forgot that it was them who rejected the name, who hit the name, who pro prohibited the people from pronouncing the name, which shows that they despise the name. And Yahweh is telling them straight up, right? You priest who despise my name. But you asked, in what way have we despised your name? Then he says, you are presenting the file food on my slaughter place. But you asked, in what way have we defiled you? Because you say the table of Yahweh is despicable. The table of Yahweh is despicable. And before we continue here, <laughs> let me go to another part in Isaiah. Isaiah 65, 11. So we just saw that, it's, that Yahweh was complaining to the people that they would, through their actions, their belief, would make the table of Yahweh um, despicable. Uh, let me see, 65. So look at this. But you are those who forsake Yahweh, who forget my set-apart mountain, who prepare a table for God, and who fill a drink offering for many. So they rejected Yahweh to prepare a table for God. And that's what they still do nowadays, even in Christianity, because they worship God. They don't worship Yahweh. They don't worship Elohim. They worship God. And even though one may say, but God is with an O, this is with an A. <laughs> Remember that, first of all, the pronunciation is exactly the same, God. And in Hebrew, the vowel is not there. It's just the G and the D. So it will be exactly the same. And for that, let's go to the concordance. Blue letter Bible. I say uh, 65, the Strong's, so verse 11. Prepare a table for that troop. Why do they translate it like that? Because God, which is the Hebrew part there, let's just show it here. Prepare a table for God. La God, for God. So you see the Gimel and the Dalit. Those two make the word or name God. And if we look in the concordance, you see God, fortune, good fortune. So Strong's age 1409. God. So God. there you go. God, right? That's who they worship instead of Yahweh. They prepare a table for Yahweh. And in Malachi, Yahweh is telling them, because you say the table of Yahweh is despicable. Why? Because they prepare it for God and many. Isn't it interesting? Well, God is fortune. People worship money to the prosperity doctrine, for instance, and many other ways. And many is destiny. Isn't it interesting that people think that when they have money, like many, they can control their destiny? And isn't it interesting that in the $1 bill, it says that they trust in God? So there are many, there are money, which also uh, this vowel is not there. So money and many in Hebrew, the letters would be pretty much the same. So they prepare a table for God and who fill a drink offering for money, <laughs> right? And like I said, in the money, at least in the $1 bill, they wrote that they trust in God. And right next to it, they have the eye of Horus, which happens to be another name for the eye of Lucifer, the old seeing eye. So Lucifer is this entity that they were worshiping, God, because he's in charge of all the fortune of the world. And that's why he told Mashiach that if he were to bow down before him, he would give him all the riches and all the uh, kingdoms of the world because they were given to him and he could give it to anybody who uh, he would want. So 
God is another name for Satan. Halel. So Yahweh is telling, but you are those who forsake Yahweh, who forget my set apart mountain, meaning their uh, meaning the kingdom of Yahweh, who prepare a table for God instead of Yahweh, and who fill the drink offering for many instead of his kingdom. They do it for the kingdom of this reality, the material kingdom. 